Breaking news out of Maine, where a huge wave kicked up by Hurricane Bill pulled at least a dozen people out into the Atlantic Ocean, setting off an air and sea rescue mission. The storm had been losing steam all weekend as it spun north, but the wave hit a spot in Acadia National Park called Thunder Hole, where, as one guidebook puts it, visitors can experience the thunder of the sea against the rocky shores. Today, that experience turned into a disaster. Stephanie Sai is along the coast tonight. Stephanie, good evening. Good evening, Dan. Well, Bar Harbor, Maine, as most of the East Coast was under a high surf advisory today. At this hour, the Coast Guard is continuing to search for two missing people, but the incident was several hours ago, and that water is a cold 55 degrees. They were able to successfully rescue nine people. Some of them suffer broken bones. We have also learned that a seven-year-old girl was pulled from the water unresponsive, and we do not have word on her condition tonight. We had uh, three ultimately hand over to EMS. There's about uh, nine people involved. One male with a heart problem. We had one with a, uh, a female with a broken leg. From the best of our knowledge, we know that the uh, wave came over the rocks, swept them offshore. This is YouTube video from a stormy day in 2006 at Acadia National Park. The crowd today was watching the unusually high surf kicked up by Hurricane Bill in the same area of Thunder Hole. As you can see, the waves can be unpredictable. The high tide from the new moon cycle combined with the effects of Bill, which passed offshore Maine early Saturday, creating massive waves. The area was under a high surf advisory, as was much of the East Coast. The high seas have been a spectacle all weekend for people from Cape Cod to Canada, despite the danger. The waves continue to be larger than normal, even at this beach, which was closed until just an hour ago. People here are swimming at their own risk, Dan. All weekend they were saying, do not go into the water. People cannot stay away. They were not taking Hurricane Bill all that seriously, of course, until this very tragic incident. Dan? So you're several hours south of, of Bar Harbor, uh, Acadia National Park. How are the conditions up there affecting the ongoing search? Well, I think what's happening is that there's only a couple hours of light. The Coast Guard has a helicopter in the sky. They have a plane in the sky. They have boats searching for these people. But remember, the high surf is continuing at least into tomorrow. So we're talking about nine-foot seas that they're contending with as they search for these two missing people. Stephanie Sai along the northeast coast tonight in Massachusetts. Thank you.